Dane Calloway says 98% of all people who we call African American are in fact natives and had and their, their origin, origin here. And Columbus himself sent at least 3,000 and possibly as many as 6,000 or more Native American slaves to Europe. This, is, this begins as early as 1493. On his return voyage, he takes about uh, two dozen Native Americans to Portugal and Spain. In the subsequent voyages, many, many more are sent, uh, men and women. Now, he intends to sell them by the thousands, not only in Spain, but he mentions the uh, Azores, uh, the Canary Islands, the Cape Verde Islands off, you know, the west coast of Africa, as well as in Portugal and Spain and elsewhere. Um, so even before there are any appreciable number of African slaves being sent to the Americas, there are Native American slaves being sent to Europe, principally probably ending up in Lisbon and Seville, or Sevilla in southern Spain, but also being transshipped to Valencia and many other cities. Now at the same time that that's happening, there are large numbers of African slaves being sent northward to the same cities. One of the things that Dane Calloway says, and others, is that we are not Africans, right? right? In fact, he even says, if you prove that you are an African, I will go away. Well, Dane, after this video, you have to go away. So I think people assume that Jabari hasn't done that research. The reality is I didn't need to do the research. More on that in a minute. So first of all, I'm going to just show you the most recent test that I did with Ancestry.com. Did with Ancestry.com. with you. Come close and take a look at the images. I was amazed when I saw this today. A thousand people or something. And she announced that she just had the test and that she was Zulu. So I, it broke on CNN. I was sitting in my living room, minding my own business, and said, Oprah Winfrey's a Zulu. So I called Rick Kittles, and I said, Rick, did you tell Oprah she was a Zulu? He goes, no, man, she made that up herself. <laughs> it's a true story. It's a true story. I would lie to make you laugh, but I'm telling you a true story. So I said, Rick, are you in your lab? He said, yeah. I said, is anybody there? He said, no. I said, when the results come in, make her a Zulu, man. <laughs> you know? I said, you back there making it up anyway. <laughs> nobody believe you could take some spit and figure out a tribe? What are you, crazy? <laughs> uh, One of the things that I also see that Aboriginals use is this book. It's called Africans and Native Americans. And they try to argue that this is how they can tell that Africans actually are Native Americans. Do I even have to open now, the book? Who's that book? Um, I'm not going to say their names. Several oh, no, aboriginals. Dane Calloway, no. Not Dane Calloway. You know who recently told me about this book and said I'm not familiar with it? I didn't talk to him. Oh. This was um, Lex Vortex said. I know he's not familiar with this. Lex, I, I don't think you knew that I had the book. <laughs> I don't know who, if you know who you're talking to. So is it a good book? There's some interesting stuff in it, but I want to read something to you, okay? Because first off, I don't even know if I need to crack it open because you should understand that obviously if it's called Africans and Native Americans, they are acknowledging that there are Africans right. and there are Native Americans. There you go. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Damn. Now he does explain that there's some confusion sometimes and that Native Americans get called Africans sometimes and that Native Americans get called Africans sometimes. And that Native Americans get called African sometimes. He does say that, but he doesn't okay, claim. He doesn't claim. He doesn't claim that Africans don't come from Africa. He. He does say that there's some blurring of lines. We're not talking about 12 million African. We're talking about 12 million African. We're talking about 12 million African. I'm going to get on another website that these self-proclaimed scholars love to use. Oh, everybody came from Africa. It was 12.5 million. Let me jump onto this website right here. So the Transatlantic Slave Trade Database Voyages. This is called the SlaveVoyages.org. Now, this is where they show you where these quote unquote slaves, mind you, they're not telling you if they, uh, uh, what their origin is, nothing. They're just telling you slaves. Here go the numbers. Oh, they coming from Spain. 
Brazil, the Netherlands, the USA, France, and here's the disembark and embark where, where they were picked up and dropped off at. <laughs> keep in mind, I keep telling you there's a difference between truth and fact. A lot of those scholars, self-proclaimed scholars, would believe that this is a fact because somebody created a website now. Oh, and they threw some numbers out there. Oh, and they threw some numbers out there. Where they get this information from? Number one, where they get it from? Okay, and how come they not breaking it down to you? I mean, you can tell me the numbers all day long. How come we can't know if that's white or black people, so-called black people? I, so wait a minute, I, you, you could be telling me, and these are white slaves right now. You could be telling me slaves and they could be white slaves. Do you hear me? You, you just telling me numbers in between a particular timeline of the 1500s all the way to what? 1875. But the U.S. Census started in the 1790s. But you got records of these numbers since the 1500s. Some are lying. Let me tell you how they lying. When you use this website, you click on the about uh, about the project. Once you click on the about project, you click on the uh, history of the project so you can know what's going on. Where they get this stuff from, right? This is what they tell you on top of that. This is what they tell you. Now, before they tell you 1770 this and uh, 1500 that, they tell you right in the beginning what I highlight from the, I'm going to read this now, from the late, listen to this, y'all, from the late 1960s, Herbert Klein, and I'm going to go into Herbert Klein. Probably in a documentary, I got to. You got to understand who that guy is. It's a reason why they're pinpointing these people out inside of this history of the project. And Herbert Klein was the first one mentioned for a very, very particular reason. I might even tap into it a little bit here. But I'm definitely going to have to come out with a documentary about this guy. Uh, Herbert Klein and this guy. Uh... Herbert Klein and other scholars began to collect, listen to this, archival data on slave trading voyages from unpublished sources and to code them into a machine readable format. In 1970s, in the 1970s and 1980s, scholars created a number of slave ship databases, several of which the current authors choose to recode from the primary sources rather than integrate the databases of those scholars into the present set. In other words, they say, you know what? Nah, uh -uh. We can make up our own. Let's, let's, let's just do this the way we want to do it. Let's do, 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 do. And they put it into a system. Here it is. Now, here's the, here's the kicker. By the late 1980s, now here's the, here's the kicker. By the late 1980s, there were records of approximately 11,000 individual transatlantic voyages in 16 separate databases. Listen to this. Not all of which were transatlantic, nor, as it turned out, slave voyages. Boom! So what are they? made up created databases you have no record of the transatlantic slave trade they told you that not all of which were transatlantic nor as it turned out slave voyages so you created a story uh, melville herskovics created the middle passage then the rest of these jews the jesuits got together and the university then the rest of these Jews, the Jesuits, got together in the University of Chicago and created an idea that they learned from Frank Boaz, the professor at the University of Chicago, okay, in which Melville Herskovic started teaching all of our people, especially those that were in the Boule in the University of Northwestern, still in Chicago, the same out of Africa theory. Now debunk this. It's right here in front of you. I'm reading it right off of that site. The bucket. 
I dare you. You can't.